Hello, I'm Staff Sergeant Ainsworth, recruiter and drill sergeant for the Maryland Army National Guard. And today, I'll be answering Google's most frequently asked questions on the National Guard. What is the National Guard? So essentially, the National Guard is America's oldest uh, form of military branch. It began in Massachusetts in 1636 as the militia, and we've been rolling ever since. What is... Oh, it's ripping. All right, you're gonna have to trust me on this question, I think. <laughs> what is basic combat training like? So in a nutshell, it's not easy. It's a challenge. Um, it's gonna be something that you've never done before. And hopefully, unless you choose to be a drill sergeant or you're a glutton for punishment, you wouldn't have to do it again. Can I gain US citizenship by joining the National Guard? Absolutely. And uh, if you haven't noticed my accent, I can attest to this. That is one of the reasons why I decided to join. Um, I walked into the recruiting office. Two things I told my recruiter was I want to be infantry and I want to be a drill sergeant. I've managed to attain both in my career, um, but then the behind the scenes goal was obviously my citizenship. I enlisted using a green card. Uh, when I got to basic training the first couple of days, the drill sergeants will ask who's here for citizenship. You raise your hand and then you begin the process right there and then during training. By the time I graduated, uh, which was in May of 2013, all my paperwork was completed. And then July 4th of 2013, I took my oath of uh, allegiance and became an official US citizen. At fireworks every year since. How is the National Guard different from the Army Reserve? The main difference between the National Guard and the Army Reserve is that one is federal and one is state. We're funded by the federal system, we're still funded the same, same pay, same training, same uniforms. However, when it comes to control, the National Guard is controlled by our state's governor. And that is why we are able to respond to the fires, floods, civil disturbances, and any states of emergencies, unlike the Army Reserve. Do I... I ripped this one too. Have what it takes to join the Maryland Army National Guard. So only you can really decide that. However, if you don't believe you have what it takes, I can guarantee you that myself as a drill sergeant and my fellow drill sergeants will motivate you and will ensure you have what it takes to complete training. Joining any branch is like no other experience that you'll have anywhere else in the world. Um, we all have those doubts in the backs of our minds. However, once you've completed something that's challenging, like basic training, which would be your first thing, um, you are a better version of yourself and you realize that I can do this, I just have to silencio Bruno and drive forward. How do I, you can already probably tell what this question is going to be, join the Maryland Army National Guard? Pretty easy, Google it. No, um, well yes, Google it, go on the website, um, contact your local recruiter if you're currently in high school, I'm sure that your recruiter's already been by, and you probably know who he is, or at least you've seen them. Um, the one thing I would say to ensure of is look for this patch when you're talking to a National Guard recruiter. How will my membership affect my civilian job? I like membership, like we have to pay to get in. I mean, yeah. Biggest and easiest example is the civil disturbances. They can happen at the drop of a hat for whatever reason, it happens. And we'll get called away, we'll have to go in, do our job, and your civilian employer is gonna to have to sometimes maybe find a replacement. That position, that pay, nothing changes about your job. Your job is absolutely safe. Do I or my family have medical and dental coverage through the guard? Yes. Um, so as a traditional M-Day soldier, that's your one week and a month, two weeks a year, uh, you would pay into what's called TRICARE Reserve Select. It's 250-ish dollars for an entire family. You could have 10 kids, it's, the price isn't gonna change. Uh, but that will cover you and your family. Plus that, because you actually pay for your TRICARE, you can choose any civilian doctor that would accept TRICARE as medical coverage. What is? 
the best job in the National Guard? So I'm going to answer this question by saying there's two eyes in military, infantry and irrelevant. <laughs> now, I, the best job is the job that you choose is what's going to make you happy. Um, if you choose to be an infantryman, then you're the best. If you choose to be something else, then you're the best version of yourself. Can I get a signing bonus for certain jobs? Yeah, talk to your recruiter, ask them, hey, what's on the top 10 list? Are there any other bonuses? Is there an off-peak bonus? Off-peak bonus basically means that you're not shipping to training in the summer, you're going in the dead of winter, when it's miserable, cold, and it's glorious, and the drill sergeants freaking love it. How can I prepare for basic combat training? And I can tell you the drill sergeant Ainsworth is here to help you with that. So for the Maryland National Guard and the National Guard as a whole, all of our states hold something called an RSP, Recruit Sustainment Program. That program is in you coming to training one weekend per month, getting paid when you've enlisted, um, and preparing to go to basic training. We go over all kinds of stuff, um, mainly PT, drill and ceremony, discipline. Um, we'll give you your soldier's blue book so you can start learning important things like the Soldier's Creed, the Army Song, etc. But then the more important things, we'll even go through uh, some weapons familiarization training, uh, land navigation, ruck marching, obstacle courses, leader reaction course. Like, we'll take you through all of that stuff and the drill sergeants will be there to motivate you and ensure that you are on the path to success at basic combat training. Where? It's like a ribbon. Where will I go for basic combat training? Most other MOSs which come with basic training of 10 weeks and then an AIT wherever for your job, um, you're gonna go to Fort Sill, Oklahoma, Fort Jackson, South Carolina, uh, Fort, maybe Fort Benning, Georgia, and maybe Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. I owe everything that I have, actually I'm gonna get rid of that. I owe everything that I have to the National Guard. Um, when I came here in Christmas time of 2011, I had literally nothing but a green card and my wallet which had a bit of cash in to keep me going for a couple months. Um, the day my green card came in the mail, I did my first two things as what I thought was an American. Day one, I walked into Bass Pro and bought a shotgun for $300. I'd never owned one before. I loved it, America. Day two, I walked into the recruiter's, recruiter's office without the shotgun. But yeah, everything I have, I owe to this. It's a challenge. It's something that if in the back of your head you're thinking, what if, then go ahead and do it now. Do it while you're young, because one day you're gonna be 60, 65 years old, and you're gonna still ask, what if? And I would say then, you know, what's the point? What's the point in asking what if when you can just go and do it?